All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. We've got the latest FSD beta 12.3.5 going on our test path. First turn coming up right here. Stages the stop. Car coming on the left, but it's turning. Car coming behind that one on the left. That's going ahead. It's going to try to go ahead of this car here. Good job. Good job. Jumps in where it had an opportunity to jump in. Not too disruptive to the flow of traffic. Good distance between that car. So pretty good there. Coming up to our second turn, just to see what market improvements have changed between 12.3.4 and 12.3.5 to see if things got better, worse, regressions, all that good stuff. Second turn, staging it nicely, good mile an hour, slows down nicely. Good turn, good distance from the curb, 11 miles an hour. Good job on turn two. Winding roads, turn signal still comes on? Let's find out. Yes, it does. Close to the edge here? Yes, it is. Okay, still close. I don't think they're gonna fix that anytime soon. So I'll leave it. Now it gets to a better distance from the curb uh, when it's on the straightaway. Next turn, gonna take it a little bit wide. Good job. This one's better distance from the curb this time, as well as here. Excellent job. Great job on the winding mount on the winding road. Unprotected left coming up. Maybe some construction ahead. I'm not sure. Stops well before the limit line as normal. Proceeds to creep up to the creep limit. Sees an opening and goes for it. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth behind this car. Very good. Commits and goes. So far, so good. This is a basic, very easy traffic condition. And for those in the comments asking about, you know, talking about how simple the traffic is. The traffic is what the traffic is. I can't control it. I can't control the how the streets are laid out, where the lanes are and all that good stuff. I can't control that. Uh, that's just what this driving is in this particular area. I don't know what kind of challenging scenario you're looking for. I don't know if it needs to, you know, go around the block five times, make a left and a right, then a right, then a left. I'm not sure. Cut across three lanes. I'm not sure. Sees the pedestrian. He's waving him on. He doesn't see it, so waving on doesn't work, but he's not coming, so he's proceeding. So that's great. Uh, still needs to recognize those hand gestures, nonverbal communication. But just because it wasn't going, it decided to just go. More pedestrian slows down nicely for this one. Let's them go. Great job. It was still creeping a little bit, which was kind of interesting. This is that's the more human like behavior. Don't come to a complete, complete stop that far away. But a little bit of creep is OK, as long as it's not aggressive. Just calculating the, the, the path of that particular pedestrian and making sure that it was going to be able to accelerate as soon as that person passed. It's not, not bad. Not bad at all. So far, seems very familiar. Still the indecisive. Uh, situation. I'm going to flag that. Um, it's just indecisive when it gets to these these scenarios where it could get in this lane. Maybe it should or shouldn't. It doesn't know. And it kind of peaks out there. Nothing to the detriment of the flow of traffic, but it, it's a little uncomfortable uh, because you don't know if the car is going to try to go in that lane or not. From driving on this for a while, I know it's just going to peek out there to see and then come back. All right, we've got the train in play. I'm sure they haven't changed the visualization. Is it gonna block? The, ooh, look at this. Wow, great job. It's not blocking the intersection. It sees the cars that are parked there um, because of the train and it's not blocking the intersection. That is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Great behavior. So now if this light changes, it's not a problem. Now, obviously this Model 3 behind us is having some problems. He wants us to go. He wants to beep, but unfortunately, we're not going to go. This is the right thing to do. Person in the Model 3 beeping, that's not the right thing to do. I don't want to block the intersection. I want to wait for this light to go 
If it turns red, it turns red. We're not blocking. Pedestrians can cross either way. Cars can cross either way. It's not a problem. If I went ahead, I'd be blocking. And then the person's coming, people coming that way wouldn't be able to get through. So it's the right thing to do. So there's another instance where FSD is driving better or behaving better than humans. All right, train is up. Light should be changing soon. Then we can proceed forward. Still not going to block until that, those cars move. This car is going to beep behind me, of course, because he's a human and they're all beeping. And now it goes. Look at that. That's the right thing to do. Great job. Thinking about stopping for the pedestrian? No? Okay, cool. Didn't stop for that pedestrian who looks like he wanted to cross. Crossing the train tracks. We don't stop on the train tracks, but guess who might stop on the train tracks? He's trying to get in there. He's got to get back to work or whatever the case may be. All right, so we have the final turn coming up here. It's going to put its turn signal on. It's going to stage the, the turn here to the right. And then we should take it nice and smooth, nice and easy. Good distance from the curb so far right here. Not too close. Doesn't have to go wide to hit the turn. Good distance from the curb there. Good job. I like it. I like it. Very good job. Air suspension raising just for that location when we pull into that driveway. Don't mind that. And we're at our destination. Is it going to turn or is it going to try to pull over? Let's find out. Looks like it's going to turn. It's putting on its turn signal. Super slow. Makes the turn. Nice and methodical, which is okay. And we're at our destination almost in full. I'm just going to let it go. All right, we're done. Can't really quite get a beat on um, the destination there. So I kind of wanted to go back around the block because I didn't know if it was there or not. I'm okay with that. That's not a problem. I need to take over here anyway. So that's not a problem. All right. So that was a really, really good drive. No major regressions noted so far. And again, this is supposed to be super simple. We're just trying to measure the differences from build to build. And we can't do that by driving wildly different scenarios over and over again. So for this drive, I want to give it um, a nine for comfort. I want to give it a nine for confidence. I want to give it a nine for uh, decision making and a nine for safety. Nines across the board, bordering on a 9.5. Um, again, I'm just trying to make it really, really noticeable to go from a nine to a 10. Uh, but yeah, this, you could even say these are 9.5s across the board. Very, very good job all around. In terms of comfort, very comfortable, great braking. Um, great slowing down for pedestrians and slowing down for traffic in general. Uh, in terms of confidence, everything it did with uh, the utmost confidence, especially stopping for uh, not blocking the intersection for the train and the cars that were piled up there. Great job there. In terms of decision making, that was also playing into decision making to be able to make the decision to stop as opposed to blocking the intersection and continue to stop until the cars moved, even though the green light turned. So that was really, really good, really rock solid. Uh, and then in terms of um, safety, I felt safe, super safe across the board on the merging of the unprotected left, which is typically a wide open gap. It was a closer gap that it kind of blended in smoothly with the driver that was passing, which was a great job. Um, and I felt safe, even though we we're a little bit closer to the curbs, a little more preferential than anything else there. No, no safety critical issues there. Uh, but I felt safe overall. So this is a really good job. Uh, I'm a little bit more relaxed with it taking its turns down when I see the right approach angle and I see the confidence of it going around the turn that it's not going to hit the curb. But for those who are still hitting curbs on 11.3.4 or even on this one, 11.3.5, let us know in the comments if that's still an issue for you. Hopefully it doesn't, it's not an issue for us. Knock on carbon fiber and we'll continue to uh, test this, this, this uh, build out. We'll put some new videos out real quickly. Okay, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and until the next time, enjoy your day, enjoy your Tesla.